Good morning, gang. How we doing? Time to do what excites. Time to get out there. It's a new day. It's gonna be a great day. I'm just excited to be alive. Got a lot of fun things to talk about. A lot of fun things to do today. With that said, let's dweeb. This is the dweeb team or dweeb team. Dweeb team. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's go. I came home with flowers for Kelly because he had a rough night last night and he was sad. I got him flowers. Also, it's Easter, so it's beautiful and Easter colors. Ashley's first of all the best. Because I was just talking to my camera like, let's have a great day. Because I was feeling really good this morning. But Yay! yes, last night I was sad. Like for the first time in, in a while. I don't know. In I don't get time. sad very often. But I was like kind of teary a little bit. Oh. Ashley brought me some goodies and I'm just randomly vlogging today. She brought me wrap cookies. I like the flowers. They smell good. Wait, you got me a card? Yeah, of course. Should I read it out loud? Yeah, you can read it out loud. Oh. <laughs> I love that this is like unboxing haul. Like I wasn't expecting this to happen. Well, but... I wasn't expecting you to be vlogging. <laughs> Nux. Nux. Fist bump. No money? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to my Kelly, the love of my life, don't forget our 2023 energy. It's never too late to make this the best year ever. I'm so proud of you. I love you more every single day. Much love, Ashley. 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 Because Mew got this. I don't deserve Ashley. I don't deserve my Kelly. Mm. Kelly does this for me. Relatively often. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ashley gets sad. Relatively often. My girlfriend gets me flowers. It's so yeah. funny to me. I'm sorry. I just think it's like. It is really so funny. Rolls reverse. I almost feel like, you know that one meme of that guy who's like straddling his girlfriend? But like that, pushed I, up I to a fence or something? Crazy <laughs> day. What I tell you guys, crazy. That's good. That's a good way to put yourself in a good mood is by vlogging. If like we're feeling bad, if we start vlogging the day, we'll be better. We love to talk. I love to talk. I'm a donkey donkey. Shrek, it's from Shrek. It's so random. I need to go and leave this house. You do need to leave. Now. Now! <laughs>talk let's talk last night like ashley said i was very sad and i was sad about a few things i was sad just like after i saw something on social media and you know i know i already lived such a great life i can't even remember exactly what i watched but just hit a certain note it started thinking about like you know my building exactly what i want and you know i had goals i set for myself and maybe i haven't really completed certain ones and you know that's okay but at the same time it just made me sad because I'm pretty hard on myself and when i don't meet a certain goal it's just like damn like i can't believe i didn't meet it i have all these dreams and aspirations i I've had for years since I was little, especially with YouTube. It's one of my biggest. And yeah, it just kind of like all came over me last night. So I was sad, but uh, just a reminder that, you know, to stay off that social media, it's just like absolutely rotting our brains and stuff. Last night was a good reminder for myself. That's basically what was going through my head, but I'm back now. You I'm back. Can never sleep in traffic. right here playing basketball at the gym there's nothing better I feel like whenever I'm going through something it's important to do certain things for yourself exercises I feel like key to success and keeping myself sane and keeping myself motivated and there's just something about for me sports right now it's mostly basketball but I grew up playing soccer all my life skateboarding of course still something I love to do and it just is like you don't worry about anything else it's just great I cannot rave enough about exercise if y'all don't exercise y'all really need to try I'm out here Woo! sometimes you gotta scream too just like that you gotta love life the Sun is out gotta be grateful what excites. Woo! It's so nice to just be outside and just breathe some fresh air. Usually all day, every day. I mean, not every day. I'm like literally inside my room just grinding, just like working on videos, editing. Pretty much my best days are the days I get to film. Oh my kidding, every day is great.
<laughs> I've seen a lot of comments about who are some of my inspirations. I feel like I'm a big fan, if that makes any sense. I don't know why, I just like to take little pieces of people. A lot of my YouTube channel is like, oh, I like this about this person, I like this about that person. I would say number one, Steph Curry. I just love the way he holds himself. I'm literally just explaining my man crushes, but I don't care. Secret channel, nobody knows. No one's watching, right? You guys aren't watching, right? He really be living his life like it's the cameras are rolling. Like people are paying attention to what he's doing and he's like, I have to be a role model. I have to be at my highest game. I have to perform, I have to give my all. So that's why I like Curry. Number two, David Goggins. Homeboy is just like built from a different cloth. I don't aspire to be David Goggins. I just love that extra little push I get from seeing his face or hearing it or reading his book or whatever. He just has a great slogan, just like Do It Excites, stay hard, kind of like, you know, keep pushing. Pretty much everyone in my family has his book, which is pretty crazy. And lastly, I actually don't really think about this person as much as I used to. It sounds so freaking weird. The man, the myth, the legend, Justin Bieber. I don't know why I gravitate towards Bieber. Bieber, but everyone in middle school when he was coming up was like, oh, he's so lame, so whack. All the guys hated him, but I was like, I think he's pretty cool. Like, I like what he does. And I think I was a little bit like, oh, I would love to be Bieber. I would love to sing. That's super sick. And ever since then, you know, I just like his music and I think he's so talented. Dude, why is this the weirdest like segment ever? But he's got a great voice. <laughs> Dude, this ain't going in the video. There's no way this is going in the video. All right, I am on my way to meet up with someone very special. I don't know if you guys can guess who he is, but you'll see him in a second. His name is Doha. What's up? All right, this is Doha. You might know him from the intern video. You wanna drink this coffee or what? Because you already have two and... Oh, you, you can have it then. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I I'll remember you for sure. This is our new way of greeting each other. Oh, what's up, Doha? Hi. Hmm. We're working on it. I have a surprise for Kelly. Um, Doha's full of surprises. <laughs> the New York City! <laughs> Get excited! See you tomorrow, 12 p.m. The first drop. Woo -hoo! I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go! <laughs> the Do It Excites ambassador, the intern, is back. Mr. Doha, the Exploha. Basically, Doha came a few days ago out of the blue and surprised everyone. We've been letting uh, Doha stay and happy to have him back. If you guys don't know, Doha was in Japan for six months. Six months. Like, Time flies. So fast. But I'm back like I never went. We're gonna go freaking crazy. What are we gonna do? The New York City! Do what excites! Doha be speaking in full caps. Look look where we are too. Doha! We are gonna go nuts. Full New York City is gonna say all together, do what excites. I don't know what Doha's doing. Bro, do what excites. Like excitement. It's a phrase to get excited in the New York City. Oh, okay. You wanna subscribe my channel? Oh god. I'm Kelly Okata. He's my filmer. Filmer. Yeah. I got this up with it. I have merch drop tomorrow. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Nice, nice. Ready, Doha? <laughs> yeah, Doha! Yeah, yeah, Doha! One second, and the city's excited! <laughs> okay, why are you laughing? You don't notice? In the bathroom? No. <laughs> what the heck, Doha? <laughs> <laughs>